I'm Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your WordPress website. Um, we're going to use a program called Xcloner to do this. It's a plug-in, free. So first thing you want to do is get Xcloner installed on your current web page. And to do that you're going to log into your web page. You're going to go to Add New. And you type in X cloner. You're going to install this. I've already installed it on mine. After you've installed it and activated it, you're going to go over to plugins and you'll see over here X cloner. The default uh, username and password is admin admin. So you can log in with those credentials. So, first thing you're going to do is make a backup on your current site. So we can just hit generate backup. I usually just leave all this default and hit continue. Um, this takes probably about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how big your web page is. After the backup has been complete, I've already done a backup today, you can go here to view your backups and should show you how big your backups are. Over time you'll see the backups get larger and larger. Um, now that's on your web you've backed up your web page, you want to basically download it to get it off the page itself. So you can download it manually here um, and it will just start downloading. Um, now once you have it downloaded, you want to upload it to a new page. Well, what I'm doing today is I'm going to set up a, a second web page in case my main page goes down, which ha has happened to me before. I can just forward it to a second page. Also allows you to, to make changes to the themes or modify your main home page. Um, that way you're not messing with your, your original page and if something goes wrong, you, you can just you know go back and restore to a previous date. Um, but if you're going to implement any new large themes, new plugins that you'll worry about, I would recommend having a backup site or a clone of your site. So this is what we're doing today. So basically you want to use a program called FileZilla, uh, it's an FTP program, and we're going to need to log in to your other page. I have another page called GeekRI. There's nothing on here right now, and just to verify that, I'm going to go in here and just see if there's nothing in here. The only thing that I have put in here is my backup that I just downloaded, and these two other files, tar.php and xcloner.php. And I'm actually going to show you where you can get those files. So if I go to my main page, those two files are located under WP Content, scroll down, Plugins, down to Xcloner, and Restore. So just take these two files send them over to your computer. I'm going to go back to this other tab here. I have these two files and recover them. I'm just overwriting just to show you how that works. And the same thing when you back a file, you copy this, copy this over. Again, I've already copied it so I don't need to do it twice. So now that you have your main tar file backed up in your two PHP files, we're going to go to the web page itself. and you're going to type in xcloner.php and it is case sensitive so capital X capital C the rest is lowercase .php so now we have the restore portion of it uh, usually all the beginning parts I'm going to leave default I did two restores here because I wanted to see an earlier date and then a later date I'm going to choose the later date um, here so now this part here is a little tricky to find the SQL information um, if you have GoDaddy, which I do, um, basically you can find that information from GoDaddy. And what you want to do is fill this information out. And then once you do, you're going to click Next. Now one important thing to note is that the database username and the database name is the same. So in my case, fill this in right here. That is going to be 
username is geekri and also the database is geekri. And my SQL name, because I have a shared host with GoDaddy, it's this long one here. And you can find this under your settings, under GoDaddy um, settings. And then lastly, we're going to put in the password and hit start. Okay, so now we're starting the restore process. And this goes pretty big considering how big the file is. It's extracting your da the database right on the, the server itself. And 500 megabytes is a pretty large amount to extract. Okay, now it's completed that. That took about five minutes, so that wasn't bad. Um, now we're going to click continue with the database import. Now if you haven't already, if you had information on this uh, other web page, you're going to want to go in and clear that out, drop all the fields. Um, and the same thing with, you're going to basically make sure you've wiped anything in your FTP, deleted anything first. So wipe, clear everything out except for just your backup files and these two PHPs. Um, as far as clearing out the, the fields, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so first you want to log into GoDaddy. If you use GoDaddy, if you use a different hosting, it might be a little bit different, but all in all, it should be around the same. So you click My Account. You're going to go down to Web Hosting. Find your domain. Click Launch. It's going to launch you into something like this. Somewhere you should see something that says Databases. Click there. If you have more than one, that's fine, but um, you just want to get the main database you're going to be using, the credentials you put in earlier. Click My PHP Admin. It's going to might ask you for username and password prompt. Uh, again, the same username and password you used before. Let that load up. Then you'll have on the side here, you'll have two different databases. Uh, basically, what you mainly care about is the name, which in this case is going to be Geek. Click on there. Now, I've already cleared mine out, so I'll show you what it's going to look like. If you haven't, you'll see these kind of databases. Check them all. Go down here and click Drop. After that, it should come up all cleared out, like this is. That basically means you've cleared out the database. There's no plugin information left in there from old plugins and things like that. So it's fresh. Okay, so now we're going to, once you've cleared out your database, you really should have done that before restoring, but um, if you haven't, that's fine. Now you can click continue with database import. And it's going to take that backup tar file, restore the database, um, and bring everything back to how it should be. Okay, then it's done, and the database is populated. Everything should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching my video.